everyone, Randy here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Glen Isla. Again, the challenge map between myself and Thomas McConsole here. And if you watch the live stream here this uh, past weekend, we started chopping corn and uh, quite a bit of it too, I might add. At least uh, for the size of the fields that are on this map anyway. Uh, we did 20 through through 24, also field 21. And we're working on finishing up 18 through 20 here. Unfortunately, it looks like I forgot to save the course play course when I uh, started this field here. So I'm going to have to recreate this uh, course play course here in a minute. Thought about doing that off screen. But I figured, out, you know what, I'd do it on screen here just so you folks can kind of see it. Not really any different than any of the other uh, course play courses I've created. But uh, we're using the uh, John Deere 8000 series chopper here. Got the 9 meter head. And then we're uh, towing the Crone Cargo behind it here. So the Crone Cargo. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this in field work mode. Course generation. Uh, field 18. I, I could select any one of these fields, by the way. 18, 19, 20. It'll give me the same ones because they're all connected. Uh, I don't remember how many headlands I did now here. Let's see what's here. I'm going to say that looks like two headlands, doesn't it? Maybe it was three. It might have been three. And what do you folks think? Is that, is that two headlands or three? I don't remember. Uh, well, let's, let's, uh, we'll generate the course here, see what's what it looks like. Uh, that should all be good. Generate the course. And I believe I showed this on the uh, live stream here, the last live stream. I, I tried to get rid of this uh, section right here. I just could not get rid of it, even though if I bumped the headlands up to, I think I bumped it all the way up to six. And uh, course play still. In fact, you know what? I can demonstrate this. Just bump, the, bump it up to six there and regenerate this course. Didn't take too long. There we go. See, it uh, it does regenerate the course, but it still does something screwy up in this area yet. So, yeah, I figured, you know what? I'm better off just, uh, we'll just do three. Back to three there. And uh, when it gets this last little bit here, maybe I'll do that myself. You know what? I suppose I could do four. Let's see what four looks like here real quick. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe I'll do that. I like that. Now that I uh, changed up the way the course, my original course was, I'm probably, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Figure it out. Okay, we're going to save it this time. Field 18 through 20. Nine meter chop. Uh, still getting over that head cold yet, by the way, but uh, doing a whole lot better here. So, yeah, hopefully it's finally uh, finally getting better here, that old head cold. Because, yeah, this, uh, we're going on four weeks here now with this head cold. It's getting a bit ridiculous. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't have to start here. That doesn't make sense, does it? This part of the field's already done. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see if we can pick up somewhere more reasonable here. Yeah, this looks like uh, yeah, because I think he was starting to go up and down the field. Because obviously I had the course. I think I had three headlands before. So now that we got uh, four, this is going to change it up just a little bit. Let's do nearest. I'm really not sure what the difference between nearest and next closest waypoint is. Uh, it doesn't really quite make sense. All I know, sometimes when you start him on the next closest, he doesn't start where you expect him to start. Uh, whereas if you do the nearest, he always starts at the nearest waypoint. Oh, I had this tracker on already. I uh, picked up some new equipment during the live stream there as well. Obviously got the chopper, 9 meter header on the front, crone cargo. Also picked up another tractor here, the Dutes Far 9340. So a Dutes Far. And then also a crone tipper, just and a crone tipper. <laughs> I don't know what I'll say about that, it's, it's just a tipper. Uh, so yeah, using that to hold the silage, or actually not really silage yet. I always call this silage, even though it's not really silage yet. It will be silage. To haul the chaff to the biogas plant here. Uh, which we're uh, slowly filling up here. Also got the grass field mode. Uh, all the soybeans have been harvested and replanted. This, is, I think, is the last field we need to work on here yet. Uh, once we're done chopping, we need to plow and plant it. But yeah, we're making uh, pretty good progress on here so far. I believe I heard a uh, mention of uh, Thomas McConsell there uh, saying this isn't even a challenge anymore. 
So uh, that sounds like he's uh, conceding a defeat already. Uh, so early in the challenge, too, yet. We're actually, kind of late in the challenge here at this point. But uh, again, for those of you who wonder what the objectives of this are, uh, listed down below in the uh, description are the uh, challenges we're uh, attempting to complete. At this point, I have the logging. I just have, is it logging? Is that, I think that's the only one I have done at this point, I believe. I think I had one more done. I'll have to go check the list again just to remind myself which ones I have done. thought I had two of them done, but maybe I only do have one. Uh, we're really close to owning the map. Uh, in fact, I could probably do so if I wanted to, but uh, some of the fields that are left are just like, meh. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, we're also really close. Oh, there he is. He's on the other side there. Uh, we're really close to uh, completing the poplars as well. Those fields are like half grown at this point. So I might wait another in-game day before we start on those fields again. Uh, I could do like half of them, but then I have to wait for the other half to grow. And it's like, yeah, we'll just, we'll just wait till the entire field I think is ready. One of these days I'll learn to put this uh, chrome cargo on the right side too. Well, okay, it's technically on the right side at the moment. It needs to be on the left side, which should be the uh, little more proper side for unloading, so I'm not in the crops, but oh well. Uh, course play doesn't seem to quite work properly with the cargo, by the way. Is that all that's in there? Oh, I thought he was nearly full. Ah, yeah, he's, uh, oh, he's not nearly full. He's like half full. There we go. I lined up better here again. But yeah, you definitely don't want to let uh, course play. We found this out during the live stream to uh, close up the cargo. Uh, it closes it up with product still inside of it. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, you cannot unfold it back out when course play does that. So you end up having to reset the mod. Uh, it's kind of super annoying, but oh well. Other than that, it does work really well for this. And uh, kind of as I suspected uh, with these smaller fields, I suppose you could set up a course play course to unload or to run beside the chopper. But uh, like I said, these small fields, I don't know. That, that seems a bit sketchy if you ask me. So Chrome Cargo, just have the chopper tow its own uh, storage, own tipper. That seems to be working, uh, working pretty good. And yeah, you can see the uh, bunker is definitely filling up here. I think we, what do we got, about 2 million in here? Yeah, just about 2 million in here. Not quite, but just about. I think we're probably about a uh, small half full here at this point. And uh, so far, haven't had to get a leveler out at all yet. We're just uh, driving across it as we unload. That's working pretty good. You know, trying to keep it somewhat smooth. I did have, as you can see, a couple spots where I got stuck there. And we got a couple high points in there, but eh, oh well. We're, we're slowly building up to them. They should be fine. If we do this right, we probably won't even need a leveler. If I quite dare start the plow yet or not. Uh, I suppose if we're going to be on the field and uh, we can keep an eye on them, we can probably do that. Oh, you need to you need to fertilize or you need to spray this field first. Hmm. I'm not sure if I sprayed this field yet or not. Let's uh, we'll just uh, start you on the course here. No, you need the course loaded first. This is not field 30. Let's go to field 22 through 24. 24 meter spray. Course kind of starts a little more that way, doesn't it? So you start at the first waypoint there. Forgot to uh, fertilize this field when I was uh, plowing it, so it didn't get its uh, second application of fertilizer right away there. Which is fine, we just got to put it on now. But I'm not sure how that got a second application of fertilizer. That's weird. I'm not sure what happened down there. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, rest of the map is growing here, pretty much uh, done. So yeah, we just need to wait for that to uh, regrow. And like I said, let's grab a plow here, man. I think he's, no, this is the planter, right? Yes, there's the planter. Where's the plow at? You got lime. Uh, this field doesn't need anything else, does it? Uh, well, yeah, it needs to be plowed, of course. Oh, that's right. I should really put fertilizer on it first before I plow. Well, I guess I don't have to, but... Uh, does, it is nice if you put the fertilizer on first, then I can plow it, and then when I plant, then I've got both applications of fertilizer already done, so maybe I'll wait for that. 
Uh, we're not in a particularly big hurry here getting this field done. Gotta wait for the uh, fertilizer on the other field there, I guess, anyway, at this point. So, and then we have to go find my plow. Where did I put my plow at? That's an excellent question. Excellent question. I would have thought I left it around here somewhere, but I guess not. Oh, yes. The uh, the one problem with the uh, cargo here, sometimes course play attempts to do turns. Uh, it will eventually make it. Ooh, I might need to pick up on it like that there. Uh, it will usually eventually make it, but uh, yeah, I just kind of push him over a little bit and he'll turn a little quicker. I've never had him. I don't think he's gotten stuck yet at all that I remember. Just, yeah, some of the turns, it takes him a while to make because, like I said, he tries to make a little too sharp of a turn with that on the back. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, not quite a full load yet. Yeah, we're definitely getting a lot more chaff this way with chopping the corn than we were with the grass. Uh, with the grass, I think we had, what, five, six, seven hundred thousand, something like that in the bunker there. Whereas now, just uh, with these three fields, uh, we're already past two million liters, so nice. Uh, we do this one more time. Let's uh, just assume we probably got about a million and a half liters this time around. I don't know if that's totally accurate, but it's probably really close. So if we do this one more time, that'll get us up to about three and a half. And then another, yeah, so we'll probably have to uh, chop these fields like three more times yet. Or not three more, two more times yet. Two more times. And that should about fill the bunker. I'm not entirely sure what it holds. And I think my console said somewhere around five million. So, yeah, we chop these fields two more times. That should get us really close to that. And, of course, we could always uh, supplement it with a little more grass here as well if we wanted to. Yeah, it shouldn't take us too much longer here to uh, fill this bunker. And we're actually doing uh, pretty good on the uh, compaction here as well. You know, we're driving across this with a uh, loaded crone here, a uh, tipper. So I think that's probably helping with the uh, compaction there as well. And every time, you know, unloading in a line there, so... Basically just to kind of build it up a little bit by little bit there. Working out really nice so far. Uh, let's see, Windsor 21 is all set. Don't need to do anything with that field. I did consider buying field 14 here, but I want to get into uh, cows and sheep, so I'm kind of saving up the money for that. Uh, in fact, you know what? I mentioned this during the live stream. We do need to uh, work on cleaning the animals, so maybe I'll, I'll wait for that cargo to finish there. Let's uh, take care of that here a minute. Kind of nice thing with the uh, cargo on the back. You know, I can keep an eye on them with the glance mod there. Actually, not really called the glance mod, but uh, that's what I'm uh, familiar with it as. The uh, glance mod there, keep an eye on them, see what his level's at. We don't have to, you know, constantly uh, follow the chopper. Oh, let's see what's here. Who all needed to be cleaned? I believe the pigs were the worst, weren't they? Yeah, in fact, I think I can see it from here. Oh, my. Messy, messy pigs. Speaking of cows, going to have to figure out where I'm going to put the cows. That is an excellent question. There's a stump in there I missed. Uh, suck that in all the way so I can make a little tighter turn here. I uh, was debating getting rid of the telehandle here, seeing how I think we're kind of done with the forestry. But uh, maybe I'll hang on to it for this because it does work good. And we do need a loader of some sorts for the animals. So might as well repurpose our old forestry machine here or what we use for forestry anyway there we go uh, I don't think the pigs were particularly hurting for anything uh pigs oh yeah that's right they do need wait a minute where do they get sugar beets from uh that must be from what I put back in that must give them sugar beets interesting um I do have sugar beets planted by the way now finally I kept forgetting to do so uh, remember to do that during the live stream, so I have a field of sugar beets finally planted, so we'll hopefully have that here next time around for the pigs. We'll finally get them uh, fully fed. Also, the uh, chickens were full on uh, their boxes over there, the eggs. So we got, uh, I don't know, probably should do something with those at some point. If memory serves me correctly, I think I've sold these before, these boxes. Uh, I'd like to say they were worthless. I could be wrong on that. We'll have to sell these at some point just to figure out uh, how much we actually get for these. 
I'm not actually sure where the sell point is on this map for these, but uh, let's see once here. Where would the sell point for eggs be? Actually, you know what? if I look here, it should say, right? Eggs. There's eggs. Eggs sell at, oh, sell area. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. At least sit in the bucket here. If I, if I just take a bucket load of eggs down here. And, uh, yeah, if these do make money, maybe I'll have to come up with a better way of uh, transporting these. But uh, just curiosity here. I don't know if these will stay in here. If we're careful, they should. Just uh, real quick here, I want to see once what uh, these will sell for on this map, if they're actually uh, worth anything or not. Oh, dropped one. Uh, there we go with the butterfingers in the game. Come on, Giants. You still have not been able to figure out how not to drop stuff in the game? Really? Been uh, three versions now, and we still drop stuff in the game. It's ridiculous. Oh, got to, now I'm just seeing how many I can fit in the bucket here at this point. Uh, we've had, how many, how long have we had the chickens again? I don't remember how long we've had the chickens. We've had them for a while now. And, uh, yeah, they finally filled this area up for eggs. I don't know how many, uh, boxes of eggs you can fit here, but, oh, dropped it. <laughs> it worked out, though. It fell in. Perfect. Well, I'm going to have to go really slow with this load, aren't I? If this, I don't know, will it work? If I get back in, they don't just, like, fall out, do they? Yeah, we might be good. Might be good. Hopefully they'll sell this way. I was only planning on, like, taking a couple of these uh, down to the sell point, but uh, apparently this bucket can hold quite a few boxes of eggs. This looks like a safe way to transport eggs, right? Uh, put them in your telehandler bucket there and uh, uh, take them down the road that way. I don't see nothing wrong with this, right? I mean, uh, just uh, the eggs will just come slightly scrambled. One more box yet. Hmm, where am I going to put that last box? We got room back here somewhere? We might. Ah, yeah, stays there. Perfect. Uh, let's check on the chopper here a minute. He has... Uh, he doesn't have a full load, though. Okay, so he's good. You know what? He's to the point, though, where I think I'm going to want to stop him. Yeah, we're going to stop him. I'm going to finish up this last little bit myself here a moment. This will uh, prevent him from uh, folding up that cargo box there as well and messing this up. Oh, wow. We're going to need some maintenance to this thing. Oh, my goodness. 80% on the header already. Oh, come on, Mata. Really? Uh, we got, uh, I guess, I guess we got almost four hours. 3.7 hours on this chopper already. Wow. That's a lot of hours on this. I didn't realize we uh, chopped that much corn. Yeah, four mile an hour. Wow. Oh, well. Uh, is it worth coming back to that little bit down there? Nah, probably not. That's why I did the uh, four headlands, because I figured I should be able to finish this all in one pass here, which uh, looks like, yes, we can. Nice. I'll have to see once where that uh, fertilizer spreader's at as well. If he's almost done, we... Oh, there's the plow. Aha. Uh -huh. Got him up uh, in this corner of the field here. That's where he is. Okay. Let's see what's here. I don't know if it'll let me unload in there that way or not. Let me uh, fold this header up here. The pipe away. Uh, where's the fertilizer? Oh, he's done. Nice. Perfect timing. 
Let me uh, pull him off the field here. That's the chopper, I mean. And uh, let's go grab that fertilizer spreader. Then we can uh, get this field replanted. Okay, that should be out of the way for the moment. Let's grab you. Stop you. Load up. Uh, let's see. What's for that? Be field 18 through 20 fertilize course. And we didn't need any lime or anything like that on the field, so we should be all set. I'm betting on next time around, I'm thinking a lot of fields are going to need lime. Because it seems like it's been a while since I've limed any fields. So, just hazarding a bet here. Uh, next time, we're probably going to have to lime a lot of fields. Uh, I did have to put lime on one of these fields. I forget which one it was again, but uh, yeah. Next time around, it, like I said, it just seems like it's been a while since I've put lime on. Okay, field 21. Nope, let's uh, load up field 18 through 20. And uh, just a reminder here, yes, by the way, I do have to use course play with this. I cannot hire a worker for the plowing again. And if I do so, game crashes, which is not good. Oh, that's right. This starts in the middle of the field, doesn't it? So I can't start him until the uh, rider's a little bit further ahead. Okay, I'll have to wait a minute. So uh, we'll take care of getting the chopper unloaded then. I should get him out of the way because he's going to be in the way too, isn't he? Uh, why, why, why you no know, unload? Uh, am I not close enough? Let's just make sure we're not close enough here. Per oh, there, wait, what? Uh, say what? Okay, well, it, it's unloading. I don't know why. That was weird. It definitely wasn't unloading, was it? Uh, maybe it was. Maybe it was. And yep, that's going to fill that up. I think he had about 62,000 in there. So let's see, 56, 62. Yeah, he's got probably another six or 7,000 in there yet. Oh, hardly worth emptying fully, but I probably should just in case it glitches out. I don't want that box closing. Uh, and then we're going to have to end up resetting it. So kind of a pain if we have to do that. Not the end of the world. You don't, it's not like you have to lose any crops or anything like that because you can take the box over here and uh, manually unload it. It's just, uh, you obviously have to take the time to do so. Take it over here, and then once you do have it unloaded, you have to reset the bloody things, so... Just uh, more of an annoyance than anything. And as far as the uh, the Dutes Far is concerned, for those who wonder why I got this particular tractor, uh, one, it's got a nice amount of horsepower. Uh, it's quick. It goes uh, 39 mile an hour. I wanted a nice quick tractor for hauling that chaff with. Oh, there it goes. And then also, uh, it's uh, yeah, fairly cheap high horsepower tractor as well. Yeah, almost 7,000. Not too bad, I guess. But then, as I mentioned with this series, I do want to try maybe some of the more European tractors. I've after all, this is a European map, so let's uh, you know, try some of the more European uh, tractors. This, of course, uh, I would say falls under that uh, category. Uh, a tractor, obviously, I probably wouldn't normally use. I mean, it is green and all, but it is definitely not the right shade of green or the right brand. Okay, I think we're good. I don't believe I need this uh, particular tractor for anything either, so we'll just leave this uh, all parked in the biogas plant there. We'll leave that there. Uh, how are we looking on the fertilizer? You know I think we can probably start plowing here at this point, can't we? Yeah, once he's done with that pass, we definitely can. Let's uh, get you to start at the first waypoint there. Sure we stay out of the way of the 4440 here. Come on now. You should be there it goes. Don't be coming out this far to the edge of the field.
Okay, there we go. That should take care of the plowing. And once the uh, plowing gets ahead, actually, you know what? The plowing, I think the planting starts in the middle as well. Actually, I'm using the same course, aren't I? That's right, because I got 12 meter plow, 12 meter planter. So, yeah, I'll have to wait till he's uh, completely done with the uh, plowing here before I can start uh, planting. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can sell those eggs here a minute. Then it'll probably be time to wrap it up this episode. Wait, who's, who, who had these? Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun getting off here carefully. Um, yeah, slowly back off here. Oh, we lost one. Yep, should have known that one. It's going to be trouble. Uh, let's see if we throw that back on here. The rest of it away shouldn't be too bad. Where can I stick that in there? That might stay a little better. Come on, just one, one lousy box. Sure. Let me set the cruise control, like, down here. We'll just take it uh, slow as we get off this area. Then, of course, we'll have to look out for the hazardous traffic on this road here. Oh, my. Yeah, the traffic on these roads here... Well, I guess, as I've been told, they drive like Europeans, so I don't know how true that is, as I've never driven in Europe before, but uh, just from what you folks have said, uh, yeah, they drive like Europeans. I'm not sure if that's worse. Well, I guess that's worse than American driving, I've been told, so I'm not sure that's possible, but I guess apparently it is. Okay, now we go a little faster. I don't know, what do, you, what do you folks, like, how many, uh, how many dollars or euros or whatever, uh, whatever currency we're playing in here, it doesn't really have currency, I guess it is dollars, but it doesn't really change necessarily if you switch it to euros and then just switch symbols. How much are we going to get for this? Whoa, take it slow. Nope, lost a box, lost a box, oops. Took a little too quick there. Car, if you run into me, I'm going to, uh... We'll go my console on you. How's that? Where'd that box go? And yes, going on my console on a car. I believe that is a verb, by the way. Oh, come on now. Road bumps. Really? Those are eggs here, people. Yeah, see, uh, I told you we, we get them here uh, slightly scrambled. Slightly scrambled. And don't mind me, car. Just uh, putting, your, putting your eggs back in the, the bucket here. What's road bumps here, anyway? Should have known that was going to be a problem. Oh, uh, let's see. Anyway, we're almost to the sell point here. Speaking of sell point, which one was the highest one here again? Four eggs. Uh, that was sell area two. Okay. Make sure we go around the back side here. Oh, uh, I think this is another bump here as well, isn't it? Okay, let's take it slow over this. Hopefully they actually sell this way. I don't think I've ever actually tried selling them this way, have I? No, I guess they don't sell this way. I was just going to say, I don't think I've actually tried... Oh, no, they do too. Okay. Just going to be a little lower down. There we go. Uh, okay, so they sell for... Well, that's actually not too bad of an income, I guess. They 
they all going to sell here? What's up? What's up with this? Uh, I got to be like in a certain spot here, it looks like, for them to sell. Okay. A couple of them, of course, don't want to sell. I, I, I didn't drop them. Okay, they, they may have fallen out of the bucket. They might be slightly... Oh, there it goes. They might be slightly scrambled, but... Oh, there it goes. We just play basketball with eggs. That's all. Just chuck it at the bucket. There we go. That, that seems to work. There it goes. Okay, sold. So, 775 per... Uh, boxer. I did not count how many boxes. We actually didn't make too bad there, though. It's actually not bad. Still, given how much... Uh, how much is the chicken pin again here? Let me just go look at this here a minute. Placeables, animal pens, uh, large chicken coop. Oh, it's actually only 40000 for that, isn't it? Okay, so that's not that expensive, I guess. Yeah. You could eventually pay for that chicken coop, I suppose. Anyway, everyone, on that note, with that, we're going to wrap up this uh, video here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.